Ooh, what's up, people? This is Mr. Brennan here, and today we have Renown from Unfiltered Audio, which is a reverb. And we're going to be talking about the mix section on Renown and how the gain and the wet and dry knobs work. Anyways, I'm going to start off by playing the sample that I'll be running through this reverb. It sounds like this. There's a little bit of reverb on it already, but that's all right. So underneath this, I'm going to right click, go to Studio Effects, and create the Renown reverb. As you can see, it's automatically routed into the Kong, and it's loaded with the default patch so that when I play, it sounds like this. So let's go ahead and start with the gain knob. Gain doesn't affect the incoming signal from Kong, which is where my signal is starting. As I take gain down, you'll notice that it does not take out that original signal. The only thing that it's adding gain to is the reverb itself and not the audio that is coming in. And underneath that gain knob, we have the dry wet knob. And as you listen, dry kind of works like the gain. When we play it, it sounds like this. And as we take it down to the dry side, all it's playing is the incoming signal, just like the gain was doing. Where this is different from the gain is this is where it introduces how much of the reflection from the reverb is being added to the dry signal rather than boosting the loudness of that reflection. So let's go ahead and bump this up. So going with what I just said, if we were to bump this all the way to 100% wet, or 1.0 as it's labeled, uh, it would sound just like, it would sound like this, just the reflection. And now if we were to boost the gain, we would have a very, very loud reflection. Now with the wet all the way up and taking the gain all the way down, this would take out everything. Because the reverb is being completely taken out, even though it's been 100% added to the signal. Anyways, that's it. Short and to the point. Hopefully you got something out of this, and I'll see you guys next time.